Got him, got him, got him, yep. Giant! Oh, let's go, baby! That's what we came here for! Alright guys, so we are here at Lake Geneva which I would consider the most difficult lake in the state to catch walleyes. Why? Because it is crystal clear. And when I mean crystal clear, I mean crystal clear. I have actually never come here in the summer targeting walleyes. I've come here for many years in the summer fishing for bass and pike and doing guide trips, but really never catching very rarely have i caught many walleyes here in the summer over the last 15 years i catch them in the fall at night here it's a great fall night bite but what we're going to try to do is come here during the day crystal clear water try to figure out how to catch these walleyes especially with jigging spoons because i have been going all over the midwest using jigging spoons now that it's july august september it seems like these three months even going into the fall is when the jigging spoon shines so here we go we're gonna launch the boat, see if we can go put the meat down, beat down, smack down, crack down on some Lake Geneva gold. All right guys, Eric is driving away right there. He's gonna go park the boat. Um, he probably doesn't want me to tell you guys this, but um, we were trying to launch the boat for a couple minutes and uh, he was wondering why the boat wasn't coming off the trailer. Note to self, if you guys are ever uh, trying to launch a boat, make sure you take the back straps off before you try and go in the water because um, that's what happened. We were uh, trying to drive into a strap. So, note to self, take it off. All right, well, we took all the salmon stuff out of the boat. It's kind of a pain, really, to have 20 rods in here for salmon. I left my downriggers on. I left all my trolling spoons in there. I got my man Tony with me for half a day. Tony's gonna join me for half a day. And then he's got to go do a pedicure with his girlfriend later. We'll talk about that later. But anyways, let's get back to the video here. We are on Lake Geneva, just getting started. And I really want to say, like, probably the biggest mistake I think a lot of guys make when you go to a new body of water is you start fishing right away. I mean, I don't spend any time out here in the summer fishing walleyes. So I haven't really fished on the lake here in the summer. I don't know, I bet you it's been 10 years. That's how long it's been since I've been here in the summer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get on the weed edge, get on some points, put the live scope down and just drive around until I see bunches of fish. If I don't see any fish, I mean, it could be an hour, could be two, could be three hours. And then later what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out in the basin, out in the middle of the deep lake, and I'm just gonna try to hunt down single individual twos, threes, big fish that are maybe under big schools of Cisco's, or round shiners that are suspended. I'm assuming that's going on out here. That typically goes on just about any body of water in the summer where you get big walleyes that are suspended over the basin. So that's what I'm gonna do. Here we go. All right, guys, so here's what I'll be doing. Like I've been doing, I'm looking in the weeds right now. It's only 10 feet of water. I haven't seen much, so we're gonna go out deeper. But I'm just cruising around the initial bay. I just came in here, starting in nine, 10 feet of water. Or, I've got some weeds here, not seeing much. So I'm gonna get out on the edge, slide out in this deeper water and then get out on these humps, see if I can find a fish out here. Got him. No, I don't think so. I'm hoping for a walleye. A Lake Geneva walleye. And I got one, dude, a nice walleye. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it is. On the chicken spoon. Yes. Of course I turned my GoPro out. We just can you hand me that net? Yes. 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 Got our first Lake Geneva walleye. Just getting out here. Launch a boat right here. This is Geneva Bay where we launched the boat in. Yes. There he is. Nice little walleye. Oh! Oh, I got him, dude. I got him. That's all right. We're going to let him go anyways. That was cool. You trying to escape out of that catch and release net, aren't you? Yeah, you were. Oh, one thing I will warn you if you come out here, there's no boat traffic here yet, but it gets busy out here. There you go, guys. Nice little 16, 17 incher. There she is. All right. See you later, buddy. All right. First fish. First Lake Geneva walleye, so just so you know, 
there's a ton of boat traffic out here so i mean like ridiculous so that's why a lot of guys don't even want to come here and fish it's during the week right now and there's really no one out here so if you do want to come out here walleye fishing as well usually the first two three hours of the morning and then the last two three hours of the afternoon are the best but we're going to be out here during the day today we're going to grind it we're just going to fish middle of the day crystal clear water and just i'm right now in the first walleye we caught was in 26 feet of water just on some deep weeds here this is again a big flat big expansive flats i like to find flats where there's points these big feeding flats are like food shelves what so the fish will be in that 25 to 35 foot range it seems like a lot of times this time of the year so yes yes we got one we got one all right here we go where Got him, got him, got him, yeah. got him, yep. Got him. Be a musky. Pike. Another nice pike though on the nice swim bait. Oh! There he goes. Perfect. Oh, we thought they were muskies, but they're pike. Still kind of cool though. I'm just using a saltwater jig head. Real heavy jig head. Big paddle tail, 60 pound fluorocarbon. Eh, I'll take it. Right in front of us, 50 feet. There he is. Oh, did you see that? Yeah. Look oh, that. that was so cool, dude. I got that on that video. That was a giant. Got him. Yep. The whole school with him too. Really? Yep. Feels like a walleye. Middle of the day, Lake Geneva Gold. Yes, sir. Get in there. That's it. That's it. That's what we wanted. We wanted to come here and see if we could catch him, brother. That would be one. There we go. It's a slow battle, right? I mean, it's slow, but guess what? They eating the hot spoons. We got to do a little snappy, chatty, Instagrammy. Hold on now. All right, we're going to get that guy back. See you later, buddy. See you later, buddy. All right, number two. Number two, guys. Number two. Eat it. Come on, eat it. He bit it, dude. He bit the crawler. Yeah. yeah. Following it. Got him. Right here. On the worm. On the night crawler. Switched it up, brother. Be a walleye. Oh yeah, another walleye. I think, they're all walleye. I think the whole school's walleyes, brother. I just, you know, and I cast spinners, and I, oh, can you, look at this, Tony. Help, help. Captain Hot of here. Oh, it's a little eater, but that's okay. Still a walleye, still showing you guys how we can catch them. Crystal clear water. I was explaining to Tony that I only brought one rod with a spinner and i didn't i took i was in such a rush to take all my lake michigan stuff out last night this is still the rod the same rod i had from when i was up in green bay but i didn't bring any extra components so once we get bit off that's it we sol but that's okay another walleye just casting that spinner guys walleyes geneva middle of the day crystal clear water live scoping them 25 to 30 feet seems to be the depth all right we can get this guy back whoa 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Down there. oh no
Got him. Got him. Yup. Nice one. This feels like a keeper. This feels like a nice one on the spinner. Just died. Wait, wait, what, what happened, Tony? Camera died. Oh, the camera died. You mean your camera died, Tony? Imagine that, guys. Tony's camera died when I got a fish out. Oh, he's not happy, ladies and gentlemen. Tony is not happy, but that's okay. I'm happy because I got a, a walleye on. We out here figuring it out, guys. Oh, yeah. Love it. Love it. This is a good one. This is going to be illegal. This is going to be a keeper. Come here. Nice. 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 Look at that. Yes. Heck yeah. The wind's picking up, which should help. We found them. I mean, again, all the fish that we're finding everywhere we go, all from live scope. And you know, if you watch the last couple videos we did, the, the three things I really like to do is I like to throw a jig and spoon. I like to throw a jig and a crawler and a spinner. Stay still, jeez Louise, buddy, hang on. All right, we're gonna get them back. Number five, see you later, buddy. Can't complain if you're catching Geneva gold. I will say this, there's a lots of gold on this lake on the properties. Lots of money here. From what I was told, majority of them have that these homes are our crappie guides from southern Louisiana and Mississippi. So things go well. We're going to work our way down to Mississippi, start doing some crappie fishing so I can retire and have one of these big ass mansions. Let's go back to walleye fishing now. I see a big one suspended right in front of me. Looking at it. Got him, got him, big it, big it, got him, big it. This is what I wanted. This is a big fish. It's gonna be a good one, dude. Good fish. I, I hope it's a walleye, dude. If it, I, there were two really good marks out here, 32 feet of water. I'm guessing it's a nice walleye. Gotta be up. Gotta be a nice walleye. It's fighting like a walleye. It's staying down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That chick like a walleye. Don't be a pike, please. We want a big walleye. We want some walleyes out in 35 feet of crystal clear water in the middle of the day on a jigging spoon out here on Lake Geneva. Just showing you guys that you can go to the hardest lakes in the state in the middle of the summer, try different techniques like jigging spoons. And here we go and catch. Oh, it's a nice walleye, dude. It's a big walleye. It's a big one. It's a big one. I just saw it. Yes, hand me that net. Two big ones are out deep. All right, guys, you might have cracked the, cut, the, the code here. I saw two big fish out in 32 feet of water. All right. High 20s? I don't think high 20s, but I think mid 20s. I like that. There he is. Oh yeah. yeah big, one. big one. Giant. Oh, let's go, baby. That's what we came here for. Oh, I knew we could do it. I freaking knew it. Crystal clear water, hell yeah, GoPro's done. You guys, if you have not tried jigging spoons yet, I have normally every summer, I'm doing charter trips on Lake Michigan. So I, in the last 10 years, I have not had any time to come to Geneva, Delavan, Madison Chain, Big Green. I've only been going to Green Bay in the last year or two, and you can see, Tony, it ain't no baloney. The jigging spoons put the beat down on them, man. Legendary. <laughs> Dude, we said it too. We said we're gonna come out in here and catch a big one. Out in the middle of nowhere. All right, guys, bump them real quick. Real quick. 
almost 29 inches guys look at that just shy of 29 inches beautiful well i'm gonna hurry up and get them back i don't want to keep them out of the water long and there he goes see you later oh my god you guys you don't cool? know yeah the crystal clear water there goes that big walleye you guys you don't know how rewarding it is for me because i do not have never come out here on lake geneva in the summer and targeted walleyes i'm normally doing salmon trips all summer long so to come out here and use jigging spoons catch one that's just shy of 30 inches first half the day i'm out here unbelievable mission accomplished now i'm going to drop tony off Tony's gonna go get some chow, and um, I'm gonna stay out here the rest of the afternoon. It is pretty windy, but I'm gonna try to see if I can put the meat down, beat down, smack down, crack down on another dirty 30 on an inland lake. The hardest lake, in my opinion, to fish for walleyes in the state right here, Lake Geneva, but we're getting her done, baby. I'm on again, I am on again. All right, we got a lot of wind, guys. We got walleye. We got walleye. Oh, nice walleye. Nice one, dude. Nice one. Nah, 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 nah. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Nice fish. Nice fish. Yeah. Real nice fish. Oh, yeah, Tony. Look at that, baby. Dude. Are you kidding me? Let's go back in the back real quick with this yeah. guy. Just spot lock? It's on spot lock. Let's sit back here out of the wind for a second and just kind of understand what the heck's going on. Because we got a lot of wind and here's what we're fishing. We're fishing the eastern side of Lake Geneva, really. And it's just a big expansive weed flat on the south end here where it's 25 to 35 feet. And I'm just going across this whole flat. There's scattered weeds. And again, I'm using live scope or your forward facing sonar. And when I see these small bunches of fish, that's what's nice about when it's windy and you're fishing deep. Because a jigging spoon, you can cast into the wind. It falls very fast. Then you can just kind of give it pops and pops. So you can work it deep water very fast. You know, a jig and a crawler like I'm fishing, it takes forever for it to get. And we notice that these fish are moving. They're moving around. So, all right, let's lift this fish up. Let's take a look crunch that jigging spoon another beautiful fish probably 23 inches they're so healthy and fat such a cool they don't call them the old gravel lizards for nothing right beautiful fish 23 if it's 23 he's good for me nice fat 23 incher Hold her in the water until she's ready to take off. Summertime, you gotta be a lot more careful on the fish because when it's hot, it's a, fish just die so much easier, whether they're deep or not, so you don't wanna overhandle them. Are you ready yet? Are you ready? Y'all ready? I mean, y'all just wanna be hanging out in a live well for a live well party? What? Did I do that too, you know? We slap up them cheek, cheeks right up on that mixed grillet tonight. You ready? I blacken your little ass up. You don't wake the hell up real quick. Now, come on. Get out there. See, I said blacken. You say blacken? Ah, get me the hell out of here. Small mall. Gotta be a small one. Let me turn off the radio. I got my tunes going. I'm gonna get in trouble. The Holiday Inn. I got a small mouth on. A small mouth on. All right, I'm hooked up again. I think I got a smallie on. I hope it's a walleye. It's fighting like a small mouth. Down in this. 35 feet of water here. The one thing I don't see a lot of guys doing in the summer is fishing small uh, spoons for smallmouth bass. Here he comes, here he comes. It's a good one. Oh yeah, big smallie. Big smallie, really big smallie on the jigging spoon. Really big one, I'm gonna net this one. Like I was saying guys, 
I don't see a lot of people using jigging spoons for smallmouth bass. I, I haven't until I started walleye fishing and then I didn't realize how good they work for smallies too. This is a nice Lake Geneva smallmouth out in deep water. Woo wee son, that's a four pounder. Yes sir. All right, we got crazy wind, but everything eats a jigging spoon. Let me get my phone. Oh yes, look at that. That's a stud. Yes. It's probably 20 inches. Oh, look at this. Almost 21 inches, guys. You see that? Just shy of 21 inches on the jigging spoon out in deep water, guys. Love it. I'm loving it. I'm loving clear water and I'm loving jigging spoons. See you later, buddy. See you later. When you're ready, you let me know. When you're ready. There you go. See you later. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Down deep. What do we got? Look at this, guys. I gotta turn my music off. My music off. All right. Okay, okay, okay. We are on, we are on. I am out here in 122 feet of water right now. And I just saw several suspended fish out. This is a good fish, guys. This is a good one. I saw several fish. I got rods all over the place. Every one of these is a tool and has it. Oh, that's a good one. Come on. Why is that not working? Come on, why is this not working? Why? There we go. Another big walleye. Yup. Oh, it's a tank too, you guys. It's a tank. It's a tank. It's another tank. Come on. Yes, another dandy trolling motor. God! Start working. Oh my God. Ugh. There he is. It's a big and big. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Get in there. Yes. Oh, another giant. Another giant on the jigging spoon. What a great looking fish. Wow. 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 That's all I can say. Jigging spoon in 122 feet of water suspended. No way. All right. Look at that, guys. 115 feet of water. That's the deepest suspended wall I have ever caught in my life, right there over 115 feet. Lake Geneva Gold. 25 incher. We're going to get her back. Heck yes. All right, guys. Oh, let's get her in. there she goes. Come on, take off. Yep. There she goes, right back down to the depths. All right guys, so I just wanna to explain to you what I'm doing. I'm out here in 115 feet of water, just caught that really nice walleye. And one little thing that I do on the live scope, a lot of you ask me how I have it set up. As you can see, you cannot see the bottom. I do not wanna see the bottom. I only wanna see, let's see my depth range right now. If I, if I go down to the bottom, there's the bottom. But I'm not fishing for lake trout or any of that, so I'm only fishing in the top half of the water column. So I'm gonna go about 60 feet or so done and then i'm going to go to menu forward range i'm going to go anywhere from 80 to 120 right about there that's where i like to have it set when i'm out here in this deep water 60 50 60 down and then maybe 80 to 100 forward range as far as the gain goes i'm at 75 percent gain i like the amber screen i have not got the new transducer yet but all i'm doing is this i mean it's it's kind of painful i just cruise around listen to music and i'm not casting i'm just looking on the live scope those were too big i saw two big marks down 30 feet over 115 feet of water so very very cool that's how i did it Yes, that's going to be a good one. Yes. 
That's gonna be a big one on the spinner. Yes! He was just following it. Another nice walleye. Yes. Drag feels good. These are big walleyes, guys, out in deep water. Never done this before. This is so cool. I'm gonna hit spot lock and walk it back to the back if I can. And I'm using one of our prototype hot rods. It's basically a spinner rod, steelhead rod, but I love a long, soft rod for throwing spinners. It just loads up good. Just taking my time. Just taking my time. This is a big fish. Stay on, baby. Stay on. Stay on. Here she comes. Big walleye. Real nice walleye. Real nice walleye. Come here. Come here. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Another big one. Lake Geneva Gold, baby. Oh, man. Came out today with a mission of fishing deep. I didn't bring any of my bass stuff. Normally I'll bring jigs and flip the docks here. It's a great largemouth lake, great smallmouth lake, a lot of bass tournaments. I used to fish a lot of bass tournaments out here today, but I was really trying to focus on, okay, I gotta come out here because I never come out here in the summer and walleye fish. So I wanna focus on offshore now that I've got live scope, suspended fish, bingo. I mean, I don't know what else to say. This is awesome. Look at the way he just crunched that spinner. Just crunched it. Yes, he did. Giant walleyes, suspended fishing giant suspended walleyes. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you this fish real quick. I'm gonna let this big walleye go. It's pretty crazy, out in 115 feet of water. I mean, it makes sense that the biggest fish are pelagic and they're suspended. And now that you've got the technology like live scope, you can come out and cast suspended muskies, walleyes, brown trout, salmon. Everything eats a jigging spoon, spinners, big walleyes like that. Yes! I love it. I'm going to get that one back. Come on, buddy. You'll be just fine. All righty. You ready? There he goes. See you later, buddy. That was awesome. Oh my God. Unbelievable. Wow. All right, guys, just one, one last time real quickly. I just want to show you again. Oh, really cool. Look at this. That walleye swam all the way down to the bottom, 112 feet. Pretty cool. So I just want to real quickly show you. I've got an Indiana blade here with a few beads. Snelled Gamagatsu hook, two hooks. Just get myself a crawler out. And I want to show you how I rig it. I go right through the tip, just like that. Then I stretch the night crawler out, grab the hook, and wherever it's stretched out at, kind of poke it through like that. I always like to break it off, give it a little bit of scent like that. And that's it. That's the rig right there. And I've got about a quarter ounce weight. And the weight is dictated by how deep I'm trying to fish. Quarter ounce, half ounce, two-way swivel. 14 pound fluorocarbon leader. That's my rig. Got him. Biggin. 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 Big head shakes. Yes, yes, yes. These are walleyes. Gotta be. Yes. Yes. I'm going to bring them to the back of the boat. There's a monster school of fish out here, you guys. I'm out 113 feet, and there is a monster school right here. Look at that school, walleyes. Look at that school, walleyes. Oh, my God. Monster school. Unless they're bass. I'm guessing walleyes, though. Sorry for the wind, guys. These got to be big walleyes. Oh my God, what a crazy school. There's, there's like 30, 40 fish, 30 feet deep. That's a nice fish too. 
I gotta get another one. I gotta double up. I gotta double us up right now. This is crazy. We're gonna double up right now. We're gonna double up right now. We're gonna do the impossible. We're gonna do the impossible. There's a school swimming right underneath me right now. And we're gonna throw this out and see if I can get another one to eat right underneath me. A spinner right now. All right, guys. Tried to catch another fish. Tried to be selfish. I'm gonna net him in the back. I'm trying to net this fish here in the back of the boat. Pull up my drawers. It's another nice. All these suspended fish, they're all gonna be nice. Oh, it's a smallmouth. Nice smallmouth. No way. No way. Another nice smallmouth. Unbelievable, and I thought these were walleyes. There's a monster school smallmouth out over 115 feet of water. Look at that! Look at that! Another like 20. Let me measure it real quick. All right, we're gonna measure it real quick. What is that? Another 20 incher? Yeah, look at that. Unbelievable. Another one right at 20 inches. Two smallies over 20 inches today on the jigging spoon. Kind of crazy what's out here on Lake Geneva out in this deep water that I never knew existed. Big smallmouth, big walleyes, big wind, big waves. That's why I come out here in the Alumacraft. Love this boat. It's good for Lake Michigan and everything. All right, buddy, you ready? You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You ready? There he goes. All right. Wow, wow, wow. You just don't know what you're going to catch when you come out here in deep water. There's brown trout, lake trout, muskies, pike, big smallies out in this lake. Pretty cool. I'm learning a lot today. Got him, got him, got him. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big fish, guys. That could be, that could be a lake trout. I don't know. I see him down here, 50 feet. That's down 50 feet. Oh boy. We got a laker. We got a lake trout. Oh yeah. That ain't no walleye, guys. That ain't no walleye. All right, all right, we got a lake trout. We got ourselves a lake trout. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Jeepers. Oh boy, oh boy. That ain't no walleye, boys. That ain't no walleye. Oh boy. Right back down to the bottom you go, huh? Here's how deep we are, guys, look. It is 93 feet of water right now. How big do you think this fish is, guys? Quick question, where are you guys watching from? Big head shakes. Come on. I'm serious, guys, I've got this NRX rod. Drake is tight. Sorry. I apologize, guys. I had to throw the phone down. I apologize. We got issues. We got issues. Uh, I'm trying to do live freaking videos, YouTube videos. My damn trolling motor won't work. Will you go on, please? Thank you. Oh. All right, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, big mama, come on! Oh, no, 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 no! 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 Where are you going? Seriously? What the freak? 
Nice lake trout. Nice laker. All right. Heck yeah, on the jigging spoon. Let me grab the net. Not a magnum, but still, man, that thing fought. All right, all right, come here, come here. Oh, chill out, chill out. Oh, sh he caught, look at this, caught in the damn transducer. Damn it, hang on. Oh, sh goodness gracious. All right, got it in the net. <laughs> oh, if you don't love fishing, I'll tell you what. Come out here, show you guys how to do this. This is cool, this is this is awesome. All right guys, quickly gonna show you that beautiful lake trout right there. There she is. We're gonna get her back. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Oh, we got one GoPro that died, guys. We got one GoPro that died. Tony left me. She had gone, and I got a big walleye on right here. This is going to be a good one. This is going to be a good one. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a good walleye. Wrapping up the day on Lake Geneva. What a beatdown. Big smallmouth lake trout. Nice walleyes like this. I've been all over. I haven't fished here, so I've been deep. I've been on the weed edges. This is a good fish, guys. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. We're gonna wrap up the day with a hog. Come on, hoggy. Oh, another nice walleye. Really nice walleye. Real nice one. Come on. Stay on, stay on. Stay on last one of the day come on please 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 yes yes we got it heck yeah guys last one of the J fat chunker I'll hold her up in a second and show you guys all right guys the wind the Sun is setting it's still kind of windy out here that was the hot bait of the day a half ounce hot spoon made in the usa we appreciate it we're a small company we'll leave the link in the bio why supplies last you know we get them they're sold out online but i appreciate you guys because this is what i want to do i want to come out here shoot videos like this with all sorts of products not just our products and teach you guys the latest the greatest best ways to catch fish all across the midwest from the great lakes to the inland lakes to the rivers i'm going to show you this last walleye beautiful another five pound walleye just beautiful healthy walleyes out of lake geneva hey thanks for watching this week's video put the meat down beat down smack down crack down leave a comment make sure you subscribe have you tried jigging spoons yet out in open water if not you better try it thanks for watching this week's video see ya